heaven, my personal heaven, is a mass ride down Young Street. It's just beautiful, right? Uh, I'd have fewer potholes, um, but it would end with pancakes. Uh, I haven't been there yet, but I do have coffee, and if you haven't grabbed coffee yet, Jet Fuel's right over here. Um, I want to thank all of you for being here today. It's, uh, it's an amazing turnout to think that we've got, you know, it looks to be about a thousand people out there, uh, is really incredible. Here celebrating the kickoff to Bike Month in the city of Toronto. Um, I really want to thank our, uh, our partners as well, the City of Toronto, Smart Commute, uh, and increasingly our partners across the GTHA. This is not, Bike Month is not just happening here, it's also happening in the City of Hamilton, uh, Mississauga, York Region, uh, and across the GTHA. So, this idea that has started in the City of Toronto 25 years ago with Bike to Work Day has now spread across the region, uh, and we want to thank our partners for that. We also want to thank um, our other partners like Tangerine and McLeish Orlando, uh, folks like CP24, um, Now Magazine, Bike Share Toronto, Sweet Pete's, Cycle Solutions, Jet Fuel Coffee, St. Lawrence Market, and Me To We Style. If you haven't gotten a t-shirt yet, there's, I think there's still t-shirts over uh, by the Live Green Tent. Um, they're stunning this year, oh my gosh. Today couldn't have happened without the work of a couple of other core people. I really want to thank Cycle Toronto staff, Keegan and Siva and Mark and a few others. Yeah. They're doing amazing work on this. Our work in, is funded through our members. We have 2,400 members. We've discounted our memberships today to $20 as a part of this ride, so I encourage you to join if you're not already. There's something really important about this. It's 2014. We're in an election year. We have a provincial election coming up in June. We have a municipal election coming up in October. And as Councillor Min Wong has just said, we've moved forward in the city of Toronto with separated bike lanes um, and what will be, if it passes council on June 10th and 11th, a pilot project on Richmond and Adelaide for separated bike lanes, which is a big piece. It's been something, it's, it's enormous and could be a game changer for downtown city cycling. But it's not enough. We still have so far to go in the city of Toronto. I was at an event in North Scarborough on Saturday, and one of the things I heard from so many people was, you know, Jared, we've got no way to travel north-south safely in Scarborough by bike. We need a grid of protected bike lanes that stretches right across the city of Toronto. That's backed up by bicycle boulevards where we reduce the speed limits to 30k an hour and add contraflow bike lanes on one-way streets. Today we're launching our municipal election ask, which is the minimum grid. We're calling on city officials to build a minimum grid of protected bike lanes backed up by bicycle boulevards across the city of Toronto. We've got postcards. They're at our tent. Pick one up. We need you, each and every one of you, to ask your candidates, whether mayoral, and there are three of them here today that I've seen so far, Olivia Chow, Karen Stintz, and David Soknacki. Um, Thank you for being here. Uh, and your city councillor candidates as well. We need you to put the pressure on. We'll continue to do our part as well. We need to build out a fantastic bicycle city, but it's not going to happen without the minimum grid. So please, we encourage you to ask your candidate to demand it for the next term of council. With all of that said, with all that said, yes, thank you. With all that said, we're pleased to and just so you all catch the gravity of this, today is the first Bike to School Day in Toronto. This is amazing! So give it up for Bike to School Day! Yeah! It's absolutely incredible. Um, we're going to have bike, bike to Get Groceries Day. Um, we're going to have Bike to the Park Day. And if you haven't checked the bike...